my friends would say, party with Rainy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. My show, Painting with Rainy, is all about how to unleash the creativity in your own life and how to have fun, enjoy, and be authentic to yourself. And everyone has a streak of creativity in them. So I have an audience here, and we're going to create a sketch right here. They're going to draw a scene. Have you drawn a scene before ever in your life? I've thrown a scene. <laughs> Okay, yes. we have, we have a, a guaranteed peanut gallery here, and that's lovely. Here's an example of what we're going to do. This is a scene. Look, do you think you could paint this scene or draw this scene just like it is? Could you draw this? Could you copy this? Well, here's what we're going to do, because I know you've heard about creativity in the left brain, right brain. Mm -hmm. The right brain is the brain that has where all the creative processes, and that's where you can find the true joy in life and find the color and everything to fill your spirit with what's really you. We turned it upside down. Oh no, the left brain is cut off. What are we going to do? Well, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to draw some lines and I want y'all to draw the same lines that I draw, okay? okay. okay. Alright, here's the first line we're going to draw. Just kind of wiggle it on around, just do what I do. We're not even going to think about it. Here's another line coming up. Everything is about perspective and relativity. Where is it located on the paper? We're just going to make some little lines out here. Okay, ready for another one? Are we okay? Everybody with us at home? Just get a piece of paper and get a, I have a kneaded eraser that you're going to work with and charcoal. So, and, the, and my students have theirs. So, all right, so make the other line. You want to put the tree down here. Now let's do another line right here. Just drop that line right down. Um, so another line. We got our lines going. Now let's do a nice big old wide V. Okay, now let's pull another line over this way. And let's do another horizontal line. And another one. And let's put another line down here. All we're doing is lines. Okay, now let's do a curve from about right here. And let's go a little bit farther over. And let's do another curve a little bit wider down here towards the side. We're not even thinking about what we're doing. All we're doing is putting lines down. How are we doing? Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Concentrating, enjoying your beverage of choice. All right, so here's another shape right here that's actually a little bit curved. I even had to think about that myself. And it's to the left, just above the line, the top line we put here. And then make another line, kind of curve it at the end, or at the bottom. All right, now let's put a little square here Color it in with your charcoal. <clears throat> now we're going to do another curved line over here, but it's going to be straight on one side. Now with charcoal it's very forgiving so you can erase whatever it is that doesn't work for you. Okay, everybody got those lines in? Mm -hmm. Now <clears throat> let's do another line that starts about oh, a little bit below midway point on your paper. And let's just let it meander along and come behind this tree and pull that line so it goes kind of in between uh, this line right here. We don't want it up here. We don't want it too far to the other side. Okay. And then we're going to continue that line on behind this. Yes! Okay. Now we're going to make some shapes. About right here. Just make a little squiggly shape with your, with your charcoal. Just kind of like a little bunch, a little, a little big round, a little something. Doesn't matter. Just squiggle. Use the edge of your charcoal because that's how you can get a wider line. Okay, now squiggle it on down. Just a little bit more. This one here. Do a little bit here. Just kind of squiggle, squiggle. Make nice little squiggles. And over there, make a bigger one towards the end so that the eye goes up when it goes off the edge. Got your little squiggles in? Oh, yeah. You see, I can see what you're doing from here, uh -huh. but you can't see it, and it looks really good. <laughs> you got a thing going on. Okay, here's another line coming. <gasps> so we're just going to start just a little bit below this line here. We're just going to wiggle it on around and have it go up a little bit and then down a little bit. Okay, that's another line. Now, let's go back into this, this shape right here and go ahead and put a little bit more pressure on your charcoal. Maybe not as much pressure as I put on. Because I just broke mine, but that's okay. Charcoal is very forgiving. Okay, now do some squiggles, but do them more like straight up and down. Like just drop your whole arm and your elbow and just up and down, squiggles. 
not even squiggles. They're like sharp little dip marks. And do it all around here. And I'm hanging on to this charcoal with my, with my fingertips, but that's okay because it'll still work. Follow me at home. Everybody, just this is a column shape. We don't really know what this is. Starting right here, just go sideways. Hold your hold your charcoal sideways, and just kind of work it on out like it's going over something really smooth. And then, oops, I dropped my charcoal, but I found another piece. And that's always a sign of a good artist if you drop something. Don't ever apologize for that. So you just want to kind of keep the edge of your charcoal like so. And it's a little bit darker down here, close to this shape. Why? It doesn't really matter at this point. Now, moving right along, let's take this, this shape right here, and let's just kind of do that same sort of, sort of stroke along that shape, starting wider towards the edge and then get smaller as it comes up to this shape here, and do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, okay. Now, see, it's so quick, you don't even have time to think about it. And you're having a party, too. It's, isn't this fun? Art can be fun. All right, so this shape here, we're going to, we're going to black that out, that whole shape. That's a black hole. This, this shape right here, let's take our charcoal and just go up and down and make up and down strokes right in that little area right there, that right little square. Just feel the charcoal, because you find if you use the tip and you put a lot of pressure, it makes a really dark line. And if you use the edge and light pressure, it makes a nice, soft, subtle shading. Okay, now this shape here, follow the line on, on that shape. Follow the line that kind of goes slanted, because that might have something to do with, with the whole piece. Now, this, these shapes here, just very, very lightly, Take your charcoal and color that in. Shade it in. Okay, now this shape that we went back over here, look, we'll go back and we'll make that a little bit darker because that's called value. Value in a painting. You've got to know value because that'll give you the idea of what's closer and what's farther away and what is your center of, of, of focus. And this is going to be our center of focus, I think, because that's really, really dark. Matter of fact, this doorway, that might be really, really important. So I'm going to make that even darker. Okay, so now this little shape right here, just very, very lightly, kind of pull down a little, just very lightly shade it in. And make it a little darker in the shading on that edge that kind of falls next to, into that shape. Just leave it lighter at the top part. So right here, we, we have a little squiggly little shapes, very lightly sideways with your charcoal. Just make some other little little shapes that go back and forth like this. Now, we're going to move it right along. It's art in a minute. There's just one more place. We're going to use the side of our charcoal. We know the light's coming over here. So let's just kind of lightly, with your charcoal, we're just sort of going to create undulations in between these shapes right here. We're just going to put a little bit of, just use the side of your charcoal. Just kind of put, it, put the shapes where I've got them here. That line there really doesn't need to be there, so we'll just take it Take our finger and soften that up. And right here, hmm, let's kind of make that same shape with the side of our charcoal. Let's take it on out to the edge. Because everything has a, if it's got a light side, it's got a shadow side. Now this, hmm, let's just take a few kind of broad strokes and just kind of move it over here. Doesn't have to be anything real serious. You people who have not done art scenes before, when you are ready, we're going to flip our piece. Remember it looks like here, when it's upside down, and, it's, and the left side of the brain doesn't know what that is. But when we flip it right side up, oh my gosh, there all of a sudden the voice of reason comes in and it's a barn and it's a tree and it's mountains and it's a little shrubbery in the very back, in the middle ground. So, when we flip our piece, Look, we have a scene. Now let me see everybody else's scene. Ah, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Look. Look, never done a scene in her life. Thank you so much for joining me. We look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, walk in love and joy. Cheers.